This is a video. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's been a little while since I've made one of these kind of videos, so I decided to do it again. Reason for this video, I just got back from seeing Toy Story Trace, which is in English 3. Toy Story 3. It's very, very easy Spanish, so you should know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you should go to school. Do it now. Basically, the movie got me thinking. I, unfortunately, when I grew up, threw away all of my toys, and it is deeply saddening me. I'm not going to give away any of the movies, so don't worry, this isn't a spoiler alert, but if you have toys, or any of them that you had when you were a kid, hold on to them. That's the moral of the story. Another thing, I want to construct a dialogue between me and you. Just you. And your friend, right behind you, and your mom who's watching you, wondering why you're just looking at a screen so weirdly. You look at the screen weird. It's your problem. You need to fix it. In case you have been wondering, when I was watching the movie, I drank a gallon of cherry coke, hence why I am so hyper right now. I don't have my favorite toy anymore, and it's really sad to me. And I was thinking back after the movie about the, my favorite toy of all time, and it's hard to pick, because I got two in my head. Um, one is really lame, but you already know that I'm lame, so I'm going to tell you anyways. One of my favorite toys was when I was growing up, uh, like in early middle school, late elementary school, I was a huge fan of like WWF wrestling, and that's when it was WWF. Not WWE, not the Wii stuff, no, that's, that's lame. Because now it's all drama. I know that because I read it on the internet. I didn't see it again. I had a whole wrestling ring and Titan Tron setup where I had all my wrestlers fight. That's like one of my favorites. My other one was I was really into Batman when I was even younger. And my favorite toy I ever got for Christmas was this Bat Cave. That if I put Bruce Wayne in the top half of this little thing, it's like an elevator, and I pushed him down, he came out as Batman. Side note, it wasn't magic. It was basically you put Batman at the bottom, but what, they don't tell you that in the commercial. And when you're, when you're that young, you don't know, you think it's magic. But, what I want you to do is I want you to send me a comment or post a video response, because that would be the best if I could actually see the toy. What was your favorite toy growing up? I really want to know, because I, I, wish I, I wish I still had it, and I don't. And now, Toy Story 1 in a nutshell. You got a friend in me. Do 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 said you got a friend in me. There's a snake in my boots. Woof. Woof. God, it's so fun being a toy, isn't that right? It's like, woof, yeah, totally, man, I love Andy. Oh no, we just found out he got a new toy. Who is it? I'm Buzz Lightyear and I'm cooler than the rest of you toys. No, that's not true. That's not true. We're falling, but they think we're killing each other. It's okay, we're fine. We're going over to this guy's house. Oh no, he wrecks toys. Blah, 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 blah. We should get out of here and, and go catch up with everyone else. Yeah, I agree, we should. Later, at Andy's new house. Hey guys, I'm so glad we're all back together again. So am I, because I'm, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm superior to everyone here anymore. Toodles, you suck. And 